My name is John Jarrett and I'm 63 years young and I live with hemophilia, uh, chronic liver disease, heart disease, and a num number of other health related issues. Um, you know, I guess if there's one message that I would like to send to, to the community and to all of my blood brothers and sisters, it would be hemophilia is not my identity. It's not who I am. And uh, uh, there's just so much more to me than, than my bleeding disorder. That's just one small part of who I am. I think so often uh, we allow our disorder to sort of inhibit anything and everything that we do. And, uh, and it isolates us. And I will never allow my disorder to isolate me. And uh, I grew up in an era where there was no treatment uh, for hemophilia. My mother and father uh, and I were, were in the office with the hematologist. And uh, he said, your son won't live past his teens, as if I wasn't sitting in the room. The factor literally changed my life. It was 22 before I had my first dose of factor. And um, I, I, I can't tell you how that changed my life. It meant an end to lengthy hospitalizations. So it took a couple of years before people started giving us that independence and freedom that I had wanted all my life. And I learned to infuse. And how wonderful it is that I can get up at any hour of the day or night and go to the refrigerator and infuse myself. I credit my positive attitude really from uh, being inspired by my parents. At a very early age, they taught me that uh, I need to become as educated and as informed about my bleeding disorders as I possibly could. I was interested in, in working with people, in working in the community, in helping others to become an advocate so that they would not live a life of isolation like I had as a youngster. I would tell any young person to uh, follow your bliss, follow your dream, be your own person. Don't allow hemophilia, do not allow your bleeding disorder to become your identity. It is not who you are. It's always been important for me to live in the moment. And I am grateful for every day. Uh, you know, I'm 63 years young. I'm not supposed to be here. And I am just grateful for life itself.